Basically, about last April, um, last April, 12 months, uh, I came into the field here on a Saturday morning and there was uh, under, I think, eight and, and ten, under eight girls and under ten boys training. And uh, it was an absolute mud bath. Um, they, were, they were going out and their mothers and fathers had to kind of undress them outside in the car park to get them into the cars. And uh, we had a plan for the club going forward and we said our facilities weren't up, up, up to date, really. And we said we needed to get uh, modified uh, facilities to make life easier for our, our selectors and for indeed our players. So um, we came up with this idea of, of taking our grass area out of the way and um, we got premier pitches to put in this all weather uh, GA field. There was a lot of work to be done prior to ever uh, any excavations or whatever. It was six to eight weeks in the plan and leading up to it with materials and, and, and uh, fencing, carpet, and uh, six to eight weeks thereafter, eight weeks uh, from when we uh, initially put the bucket in the ground until um, uh, the pitch was handed over in a, a playable condition. Just by the, by the mere look of it alone is going to draw people to the place. You know, as kids are going to want to play, they're going to want to come and play with us. It shows that we're making development, we're making progress, and that's what it's all about in a small town. Going forward, like I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest with you. Uh, you can, we can start off whenever we want to start the year, get in there training kids, and the kids are going to love it. And all year round, and it can be used for all the clubs. Like, just, so the, the, the membership here between the girls and the boys is it's getting bigger and bigger every year. Like so, it's great to have a facility like this going forward now. The other aspect, I suppose, from from a club point of view, is that they have uh, the opportunity now to uh, rent out the pitch. We get an income stream, um, hiring it out either on a uh, to local to to other clubs or indeed to uh, local factories or organisations that uh, play for pleasure during the week. Well, you can see all the young people here tonight all, all tugged out instead of them being around the town. Yeah. I remember here 10 years ago going through the town one day and I could see three or four fellas with hurlies and slithers and I could see three or four others dressed in hoodies and having beer bottles and both going in different directions. Well, you can imagine what's going to happen to those kids Un unless you know you've got the community spirit here and they're really trying to help the next generation and that's what it's all about.